it's this threat concept where you can either choose to work with people in your environment or you can choose to feel threatened by them and try to alienate them. And the more mature mentality accepts reality as it is what it is and tries to work with it. The less mature mentality tries to kill everything because because everything is a threat. Everything is a every, every, everything is a virus, and we we um, we must be be uh, we must be anti-bio and kill every kill every organism that that is not native to what we to what we know and to what we experience. Um, a part of that will be the biological connection with the natural parents, and part of that will be. Uh, a reaction to this feeling that someone is stealing time away from them. Um, and a part of that will be laziness because you have to work to get to know people. And you have to want to get to know people. First, you have to want to get to know somebody. Then you have to work to get to know somebody. You have to learn about them and then you have to make decisions about them. So. If you don't first want, and very often there's not even a want to get to know somebody, you just attack them. And the, the thing is, it gets harder to dislike people that you know better. Because you begin to understand their problems. And if you, and that's why it's so easy to have arguments on the internet, for example. People argue all the time on the internet because they don't take the time to get to know each other. It's just, I think this, and you think that, and you're bad, and I'm good, and I'm right, and you're wrong, and that's that's the end. And they call each other names, um, which, which, which is not getting anywhere. The, the, the truth is that you have to want to know somebody first before you can actually get to know them. Um, and what's, what's that old saying? Uh, no like trust. Yeah, no like trust. So first, you have to get to know the person. Then you have to decide if you like parts of their personality, because you can't like everything, and you have to decide what works for you. And then, if you get through the process of knowledge, and through the process of understanding and beginning to like the person, then finally you can trust the person. And this is not something you can do in a weekend. This takes... Maybe it takes maybe a year. You could probably do it in less than a year. And some people are faster at it than others. The older people will generally make better decisions than younger people. <laughs> younger, young. In fact, kids kids kind of tend to do the opposite, which is they they they, they trust and they like, and then they get to know a person. So it's kind of backwards for kids. And kids just automatically trust everybody, everywhere that they're gonna tell the truth and. Um, it's uh, partly because society has not prepared them correctly to have the skills of discernment to realize the differences between right and wrong in in things. Um, you know, society is very much based on ethics, but um, truth is very much built upon morality. And uh, understanding that ethics are cultural, but morality is um, foundational uh, and, and underpinning everything. You know, what ethics means what's good for this culture might be bad for the other culture, and that's okay. Good can become bad, bad can become good. It's all cultural, situational. But morality is, you know, what's bad is always bad. So, thou shalt not kill. You know, go through the list of commandments in the Bible. Go through the, and start with the ten and then go on to the other ones. You know, these these are things that were bad 2,000 years ago and they're still bad today. <laughs> these, these are foundational morals. So, uh, it's, 
it, it's hard um, on it, it's hard on the kids. It's hard stepping into the role of being somewhat a surrogate parent in another family. Um, and it's a big responsibility to take on. And it's a responsibility that the majority of people fail at. They, they fail because it's just too complicated. And they have to just accept differences. <laughs> and, and understand that um, they can't solve all of the world's mistakes, even if, even if they want to solve them. So it's uh, it's hard, and and um, people want to protect their own environment, and this manifests itself in aggression that appears to be against me. But if you look at any conflict, people are usually. The, the the aggression is just an expression of protecting or defending some belief that they have. So it's uh, it's hard and um, 